Welcome to part 20 of the Ratchet and Clank Let's Play. As I promised in the last part, we are cutting past this, well, rail grinding segment. I never get the skill point, but hey, enjoy the cutscene at least. Hey, we finally get to meet the help desk girl. I hope she's cute. What should that matter? Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, come here often? Actually, I work here, so I come here all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been following your progress. Here, shh, take this. It's a map -a It will be very helpful. I'll uh, see you later. Bye, sweetie. I think she likes me. <laughs> I love how Ratchet just makes that shrug. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, so right now we just got the map -a -matic. When we click the select button, or R3, I think... I think any any area that we or any secret area will be visible all M will be marked green. Oh, and the areas that we already visited, it will be marked yellow. I know I'm kind of late for mentioning this right now, but eh, <laughs> better late than never, I suppose. It goes the old saying. That's the old saying, right? So anyway, since we got our first gold bowl on that real grinding segment, like I said in the last part, the second gold bowl is actually right over here. So what you do is you go down to this lower platform and then you enter the Gatatron employee break room. Looks like the Morpher Ray malfunctioned again. <laughs> yeah, it, other than that, easy gold bolt. Believe it or not, actually, this is pretty much an inside joke. Believe it or not, when... Like, this is how Insomniac had, had viewed themselves when they were developing this game. As a bunch of chickens. <laughs> I don't, now, I don't know if murdering them is such a good idea because, well, then we'll be ending the... We'll probably be ending the existence of, let's say, Ratchet 2, Ratchet 3, Movie, Deadlock, The Crack in Time, Aim and all that. So that was the... So that was that. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, I love it when companies do poke fun at themselves, you know? Uh, you can have fun while while, have, while working- while being in the video game development profession. <laughs> that's the way I like to look at it. And since I'm becoming one, and that's at least something I'll have to look forward to, you know? You can have- with any job, uh, try to at least- he's to make the best out of it. And, and try to make the best instead of the worst. His Nobody makes it. Nobody makes things work, worse on purpose. That's just not how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's just not how it goes at all. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, so now that we are done with the rail grinding segment, hey, hey, let's ha let's actually beat uh well, Kalibo three. He, and one of the main gimmicks of Kalibo three is that from time to time we'll be heading into these these well testing rooms. Where, where we have to fight these Gadgetron test dummies. He's, he's and with these Gadgetron test dummies, they will they'll be using some of the some of the weapons that you have, and in that case, they were using the bomb glove. Of but my best, the best weapon I I ah, the best weapon, and for these segments right there, the Walloper. Again, it doesn't cost any ammo to use. It's very powerful, which can kill all these test dummies in one shot. Uh, and whenever you do make a punch, and whatever single punch you make, well, let's just say that uh, you you go a bit far. It may it may be a little problematic if only because it might send you straight off a cliff or something. But that's only but that's only if you're not careful. So with that being said, the wall that's one of the reasons why I do think the Walper is probably going to be one of your best friends in this stage. Along with the Devastator and the Glove of Doom. Although I couldn't really use the Glove of Doom on those guys because, well... In that case, in some cases we'll be having... There will be buttons, or these laser gates. In order to open them we have to hit the buttons, but the thing is, they're timed. And I kind of want to keep things moving, so... I just... I just wing it. <laughs> I just pretty much wing it. It 
we're, now that we are in the second uh, a Gadgetron room, um, actually, speaking of the Walper, this is what they're using right now. <laughs> so it's a Walper versus Walloper fight. So let's wallop some punishment. Boom. Again. Delayed boom, I know. But, whatever. <laughs> I guess a part of me likes to think that that's what uh, the developers is probably intended to you, intended you to have, or at least use during those segments, you know. If that's the case, then, yeah, I can see that. The wall. Okay, admittedly, I don't really use the Walper all that much, but in cases like that, it. But for the sake of, of going through segments like that, I do think it's really good to have at least. Uh, yeah, like that. Oh, my mind's all over the place today. <laughs> I tried to record this part after part 19, but lo and behold, I. Didn't really like that take. Gonna have to wing it this time, but whatever. Again. I keep saying whatever a lot. And I can't get out of that I can't get out of that habit. <laughs> uh I guess some fun trivia for the sake of filler commentary. Uh this this le in the 2016 remake, this level actually exists. This is and and it's pretty much the same level layout. Although that platform with the uh, with with the Gadgetron vendor box, this was a bit different. And considering that we actually have to rotate it in the right direction, and with the help of the thruster pack. Um. Oh, and in terms of enemies, well, because of the fact that yes, as it's running off of the you know modern. Ratchet and Clank logic with the, you know, upgraded weapon, upgradable weapons, health, and all that good stuff. Not to mention the enemies also do increase. Uh, I think it's safe, I, I think it's safe to say that you're, in, in the 2016 remake, let's just say you're pretty much up for a fight. One hell of a fight. It at least looks nice to look at, although it actually looked pretty nice to it actually looked pretty nice, though, I have to admit. <laughs> and this is me hitting a button the wrong way. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't want to waste any, any Devastator ammo. Or waste any time going back into the pause select, selection. Going back, back to the pause screen and switch my weapons manually. Switch the Walper and Blaster out. Eh... I don't know. Maybe, I guess I was pretty lazy. <laughs> hope I didn't anger. Hope I hope I didn't anger anybody in the comments section for that. And if I did, then sorry. Now we're in the third. As for this third one right here, we are now going up against Gadgetron test dummies that are using pyrositors. One thing I do want to mention about these is that. Uh, the re another reason why the Walloper is actually such a good weapon, at least for this part, is that they don't, unlike you, they don't go too crazy with the weapons. And it's like you do, at least like you naturally would. Like you know how I'm, like you know how you can be in this game, you know, oh like with uh, the Pyrocitor, you go in circles, or the uh, or the bomb glove, or. Hell, just even go balls to the walls nuts with your ammo. They don't do that, thank God. <laughs> and so, again, the Walper is a the Walper is a pretty good weapon for that, <laughs> for these sections. Even though we're just past it. As for this section right here, we have another gunship that we need to destroy with the Visabomb gun. Then we move to the right and use our Visabomb gun to take out all the rest of these uh, elite soldiers. If they, if you do shoot one, again, if you do shoot one of these guys, even if you're really far away, they are gonna notice you and they will shoot. You can easily shoot their bullet, 
Yeah, you can't easily dodge the bullets that they shoot. But I still recommend you take these guys out from a far distance. And it's this way you'll have have more than enough time to move out of the way, especially when you're using the Visibomb gun. And anything to make life easier. Here's a good thing. Kalibo 3 as a whole well it's a pretty it's a pretty decent and challenging level. Well I have to say, it's nothing unfair. Yeah, it's definitely nothing unfair. And I do like the fact that there are enemies that actually use your gadgetron that actually use the uh your weapons, basically. Granted, they only use three weapon three they only use three of your many weapons. You know, the bomb glove, the pyrocitor, and the walloper. But, you know, I still think it gets the job done. And in a case like this, where it's actually a hot posh between... Well, it's actually a mix -mash, mishmash between in the three. Between the three. So... Well, you know, Kalibo 3, it's a challenging level, but I also think it's a pretty decent level on its own. And I do think it does get the job done. And it does have that filler level feel to it. it considering that you're only just here for the hollow guys. It's if you're just playing through the game normally. But... Hey, this is one of those filler levels where I really don't mind. And so... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit, I forgot. At the, uh... Got another one of these hoverboarding segments. It's, you'll see later on after this cutscene right here. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you were concerned about the uh, invasion. Son, our defenses are the best money can buy. Don't give it another thought. You ever been on a hoverboard? Yeah, once or twice. I am in search of a hip young star to represent my newest line of boards. Someone that kids can look up to. And I am your man. If you can beat my <clears throat> test bots in a race, that job is yours. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot. There's, I forgot about the second hoverboarding seg section. And uh, so just like in Blackwater City, we are on the hoverboard. We are on a hoverboard, and we are in a race. Compared to the hoverboard race in Blackwater City. This one isn't as difficult. In fact, I do manage to get this on my first try. I don't know how, but I just did. Well, the main difference with this hoverboard racetrack, besides, you know, the aesthetics and, well, track track layout. Well, the main difference is that there are rockets plastered all over the uh, track. Heck, so, and when you grab a rocket, Ratchet will bust out his Devastator. Seriously, that's the weapon he's holding, and you get to shoot rockets. It's at your opponents. It's and when you do shoot a rocket at one of your opponents, and they explode, and the well, place and the places do reduce by one. And so it makes it a little easier. Just honestly, it just makes it a little easier, considering that the it makes it a little easier just to get first place. Because again, the he went. Because when the Gadgetron test dummies explode, they stay dead. You don't have to worry about them respawning. I think, anyway. Other than that, though, I can see people at least having some trouble with this one as well, if only because, well, uh, again, the hoverboard control's a little slippery. And, well, you do get the Platinum Zoomerator, which just lets you use the boosting feature. Here, what you do by holding down the square button, and you fill that boost gauge with the, uh, by doing tricks. In all honesty, though, well, these hoverboard races do kind of suck. <laughs> like, I prefer the hoverbike racing in, um, going commando. You know, if you want my honest opinion. But yeah, now that that guy's dead, we easily have first place. I'm surprised I managed to get this on my first try, though. In the test playthrough... I had to do multiple, do multiple tries. It's ridiculous. That was terrific. 
Now I just need you to say a few words about our hot new boards. Huh? Now? Of course. Just look into that camera right over there and say what comes naturally. Rolling! Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes, for the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. I think I got the wrong guy. That was... <laughs> something. Hey, I was thinking, do I get a discount on gadgets now? Uh, you have to be with the company for two years before the employee discount kicks in. <laughs> I can, however, let you have this. The Gadgetron Hologuise is the perfect infiltration device for all our non-robot customers. Simply equip the device and press the circle button. You will instantly be disguised as a sentry bot, preventing detection by all sentry bot security systems. Press the circle button again to wave at fellow sentry bots, who will then deactivate force fields for you. Caution, use of any weapon while disguised will deactivate the hologuise. What's so, what's so hot is cool, but what's so cool is hot? Pop-Tart? It's not Pop-Tarts! <laughs> oh man, that, that's become one of my favorite nostalgic critic gags eggs ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was just way too funny. If only SGB didn't do that joke first. Because <laughs> I would have totally inserted that clip. <laughs> ah, man. So that is pretty much it for part 20, which we got the Hollow guys. And the next time we meet in part 21, we're going to be completing the rest of Planet Core 2, aka the factory portion. I'm GameMan5804. See you all then.